Okay, so I just did that video, a video for proprioception, and while, while I'm here, and I, as I mentioned, the jumping aspect of it, one of the things, once you start to get a little more comfortable with where you are in space, what I recommend to people is just simply jumping or hopping. And, you know, with, with the shoe issue, wear shoes because it's padded, or if you have a sand dune stepper, you can work on just jumping. And this is the thing about jumping is we lose sight of doing that because it's we think it's childish. And I, and I had done a post about it when I was demonstrating uh, high jumps. And it at somewhere around the time when you're nine, you stop jumping because you want to be a big kid, right? And so big kids don't jump. And after that, you stop. And you lose that, just like any muscle. If you don't do it, you lose it. And this is what I really encourage people that, that are getting older. It's just, just start jumping, start running, sprinting, just moving through space. It sounds so silly, but it gives you this confidence. It resets your biological clock and it just gets everything, everything reset. And so with, with the jumping, what I recommend for people is just learn how to jump. Jumping rope is a great thing too, because um, it's not easy. And this is again, bringing back childhood memories. When we used to jump as a kid, it was very, very easy. At least it was for me and a lot of other kids I know. But you give a jump rope to an adult and they'll flounder, even when someone was really good at it. And it is just this act of just jumping and moving around because we just don't do this as adults, right? We just don't do it. We run more than we jump, right? And in, because you don't, ex you don't work that ability, you lose it and what it does is it builds into being able to do a box jump or a large high jump and to how to be explosive. Because walking, frankly, is not very explosive and even sprinting isn't because you only get one shot of just going, going fast and most people don't have the capacity, but most people do have the capacity to jump and jump fast and move fast. So that's what I would say to people as a precursor or a lead up to learning how to box jump which will be the next video, is just learn how to jump. It's not silly, and it's kind of, kind of really fun. Thanks for watching.